generalized momentum. Generalized momentum. Let us consider a n particle system with no constraints imposed on the system. The kinetic energy T of the ith particle having mass mi and velocity vi of a system is given by T equal to half mi vi square. Now vi can be written as dxi dt. So T equal to half mi dxi dt whole square which is equal to half mi xi dot square. Say this is equation number 1. Differentiating equation 1 partially with respect to xi dot we get del t by del xi dot equal to half mi into 2 xi dot equal to mi xi dot which is equation number 2. Linear momentum Pi of the particle is given by Pi equal to Mi into Pi. Again Pi can be written as dxi by dt which implies Pi equal to Mi xi dot. Say this is equation number 3. Comparing equations 2 and 3 we get Pi is equal to del t by del xi dot because from equation 2, we have del t by del xi dot equal to mi xi dot and from equation 3, we have pi equal to mi xi dot that is pi equal to del t by del xi dot say this is equation number 4 similarly, linear momentum is associated with generalized coordinate qk called generalized momentum pk and is given by pk equal to del t by del q k dot say this is equation number 5 first we derive the expression for kinetic energy for a system of n particles in terms of generalized velocities q k dot the kinetic energy of system of n particles free from constraints is t equal to summation i goes from 1 to capital n half m i p i square again phi i is drr by dt that is ri dot so t equal to summation i goes from 1 to capital n of mi ri dot square which implies t equal to summation i goes from 1 to capital n of mi ri dot into ri dot so this is equation number six now ri dot equal to summation j goes from 1 to 3n because the system is free from constraints del rr by del qj into qj dot plus del ri by del t so this is equation number 7 using equations 7 and 6 we get t equal to summation i goes from 1 to n half mi and in place of ri dot from equation 7 we have Summation j goes from 1 to 3 n del ri by del q j into q j dot plus del ri by del t again whole into summation k goes from 1 to 3 n del ri by del q k into q k dot plus del ri by del t which is equal to summation i goes from 1 to n j goes from 1 to 3 n again k goes from 1 to 3 n half mi into del ri by del q j into del ri by del q k again into q j dot into q k dot plus the second term is summation i goes from 1 to n j goes from 1 to 3 n half m i del ri by del q j into del ri by del t into q j dot plus the third term is summation i goes from 1 to n summation k goes from 1 to 3 n half m i del ri by del t into del ri by del q k into q k dot plus summation i goes from 1 to n half m i del ri by del t whole square which is equal to summation i goes from 1 to n j goes from 1 to 3 n again k goes from 1 to 3 n into half m i del ri by del q j into del ri by del q k into q j dot into q k dot plus the second term is i goes from 1 to n summation k goes from 1 to 3 n half m i del ri by del q k 
into del r i by del t into q k dot plus the third term is summation i goes from 1 to n summation k goes from 1 to 3 and half m i del r i by del t into del r i by del q k into q k dot plus summation half m i del r i by del t whole square it means in this equation we have replaced the second term that is only the summation j is replaced by k so in the second term in place of j goes from 1 to 3 n we have written k goes from 1 to 3 n which is equal to summation i goes from 1 to n j goes from 1 to 3 n summation k goes from 1 to 3 n half m i del r i by del q j into del r i by del q k q j dot into q k dot plus from the second and the third term we have summation i goes from 1 to n summation k goes from 1 to 3 n m i del r i by del q k into del r i by del t into q k dot plus summation i goes from 1 to n half m i del r i by del t whole square differentiating partially with respect to q k dot we have del t by del q k dot equal to summation i goes from 1 to n summation j goes from 1 to 3 n half m i del r i by del q j into del r i by del q k into q j dot plus summation i goes from 1 to n m i del r i by del q k into del r i by del t so which is the required generalized momentum.